Hello friends, this is Disha. Welcome to our channel. So today I will show you how I launch my MEEP program. So if you have a MEEP script, uh, how you have to launch it. So I do not use Spider to launch the program. I usually write a shell file in which I give all the parameters which I am varying in the program and all this, all the things. And then I launch it through the terminal. I do not use Spider because it's too much effort to go to the environment and then if you're running something else. So this way I keep the spider uh, free just to uh, pl just to plot or to make other stuff. So let's see how I launch my MEEP program. This is a sample MEEP program which launches a plane wave through air. So I will not go through the details of it but I can just fastly go through it. So what you have to do is first you have to import MEEP as MEEP or MP whatever. I usually use MEEP then all the para, all the other modules which you need. So uh, usually you need NumPy and I also need uh, Sys here. So what this does is uh, I will come to it because this uh, here I'm using system arguments. So these arguments are variables which I pass through it through the shell shell file. So here I'm passing three variables. So one is three. I mean, it's just the order here. So, okay, I will come to it, but just uh, it's just for passing the variables. Then here I'm defining my cell, which is uh, SX and SY. So I have all these then symmetries and all the PML layers you can define here. So here I set up the wavelength of my uh, source. And yes, so your cell is SX, SY and SZ, it is infinite or zero, depending on your pro uh, problem. So these things I can ignore because I modified a program. So these things you don't need. So Delta N, I'm, I'm just, I just use, uh, use to, sh uh, to show that you can pass on the variable, but I have not used it anywhere in the code. Because, so here I just use source in the normal way. So the source is centered at uh, minus x sx by 2 plus 2 plus 0 0.1 okay so it is on the left hand corner just 0 0.1 from the pml which is 2 in the x direction which i did not yeah which is here pml in the x direction so these are the normal things you do so nothing fancy about here so then you set up your simulation. So here I define the geometry, which is the default using the default material. And I set the medium to be air. That is, if you write like this, it is a medium uh, air with index one. Okay. So these are normal things. Then I set up the simulation. So for this, I, I, I output three kind of things. So at the end of the simulation, I, I output to a PNG, the MEEP field in the easy component. Okay, I'm launching the source is also easy component. Where is it? Yeah, component MEEP easy, okay. And then I'm only outputting the easy output easy component at end and also the whole uh, this is in PNG and then the whole field easy and uh, at every easy not at every easy I'm after every uh, uh, after a time RT which is runtime minus 20 I'm outputting easy file which is appended at every 0 0.1 time okay so i'm so this i'm this these are things these are output tricks you can do so this is my script and uh, the source as i said it is a plane wave because i have set the size to be zero in the x direction and is of the size of the cell in the y direction so it is a line source so it can emulate a plane wave more or less it can emulate a plane wave so how do i launch this program so for this you have i write this uh, shell script 
so it's simple so i i just because uh, so first thing you have to write is i activate the meep uh, meep environment so here i'm using the development environment uh, which i had installed so i activate the meep environment whichever environment you want to call then i'm giving some uh, some parameters so i wrote this is the name of the file which i want to run and then i am giving uh, this s1 time it is the run time until which i want to run the program so i will just run until time 50 and resolution is 10 and okay this thing is not needed i just delete it and uh, i just gave delta n as an array which is to here at in this program it's not doing anything but i'm just showing that you can give your parameters uh, in a loop so i put it inside a loop four and i'm i will iterate in delta n so the no, the only thing you actually need is if you don't care about all these things to run the file you just need source activate meep and then this python script uh, this python uh, this python command sorry so here so this script i can you see i can use for different files i just have to change the file name here and accordingly all the parameters here so here i wrote in a for loop so this is shell scripting so you can check the basics online somewhere it's it's not so complicated yeah but uh, not so straightforward as well so anyway so you launch python so once you make source activate meep dev you are in the meep environment from there it what it's now doing is it's launching python the file which i said and file an output file and then these are the three parameters which system calls so according to the uh, order i am giving for example resolution so this is my resolution it is i gave the param here it is 3 because it's at the third position here result my resolution 10 is at the third position so uh, according to this you can write and uh, you can change uh, you can run the code so here what i'm doing is you cannot uh, to just because it's a plain wave i just want to check uh, um, check how it's evolving so i just uh, because i output at every 0 0.1 this field at easy so it i know that it is of the size of 41 or you can also check and then you say from 0 to 40 what is the size of it okay and then you write this for minus uh, h5 to png and it is the color uh, color map and then to uh, which file you want to do so it will output like 40 files at every for a time all the slices which we saved okay and then i will convert all these pngs to a gif here it is just uh, you can name it is the parameter you can name i mean these files can be parameterized and then i just say remove all the png files so these are just terminal commands which you can usually do so what you have to do now is i go where my um, files are so my files are here so here this this is the run python meep dev and this is the uh, uh, meep script so what i do is i open terminal and i run bash run python meep dev okay so if you run this the file should run so this is the folder which okay i already ran so it will take some time to run but uh, this is how it will it, what you can see right that it's creating all the p it finished doing and it create it start it it finished its calculation meep calculation then it created all the files and then it deleted those png files no first it created the gif file and then it deleted all the png files so this is the output so this is a plane wave propagating so i did not reach the stationary state because i uh, i ran only until time 50 right you can just run for more time so that's why it did not fill the complete cell but this is a plane wave so this is how you launch your program normally so 
yeah so also so we here i told you that the size is 0 to 40 right so to check that what you do is you go you can so these are the files right so you can check all the, all the sizes of these files so you launch again another terminal here and then you say h5 ls and then you check let's see meep which one easy dot h5 so this one what it what this data shows is that it has the component which is saved the data set is of easy and then it is of the size 220 300 and 201 okay it is of 201 not 40 so i can in change the number there okay why okay so it is of uh, so there are 201 time slices in that i only changed uh, of 41 oh but in fact yeah no that that i only in fact i have it because it takes some time so the uh, the actual file would look like this with the 201 things if because i ran it before and it takes some time to run the whole 201 so this is the file anyway so this is how you check how uh, uh, what is the size and what are the components say what is the data set inside this h5 file so you can check also h5 ls me so it was saved at easy so easy 500.h5 so this is the last file saved right so you see so here it's just it's just saving after 50 time steps so the data set is easy and then it's of the size 220 and 300 because my cell is of the size 22 and 30 and the resolution is 10 so this way you can uh, you can see what you have stored and then you can use uh, the different programs to load your h5 file so i think that's it if you have any doubts do write to me i will try to reply if i know so if you like this video do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for notification so until next time, see you.